Welcome to video 4 for this unit on measuring circles. In this video, we're going to focus on distinguishing circumference and area. Remember, a circle consists of all the points that are the same distance away from a center point. Sometimes we need to find the circumference of a circle, and sometimes we need to find the area. Circumference is the distance around a circle. Circumference is a one-dimensional attribute, so we measure circumference using linear units, like centimeters, meters, kilometers, inches, feet, or miles. For example, A bowl with a diameter of 7 inches has a circumference of about 22 inches. When we talk about the area of a circle, we mean the area of the enclosed circular region. Area is a two-dimensional attribute. We measure the area of a circle in square units, like square centimeters, square meters, square kilometers, square inches, square feet, or square miles. For example, a circular plate that has a diameter of 10 inches has an area close to 80 square inches. The reason they don't look like squares is because we're viewing the plate from an angle. So how do we know when to calculate the circumference and when to calculate the area of a circle? It depends on the question we're trying to answer. Here are some examples of problems where it would be helpful to know the circumference of a circle. How long is a circular path? How far does a wheel roll in one complete rotation? How much rope is coiled in a circle? Here are some examples of problems where it would be helpful to know the area of a circle. How much land is cultivated in a circular field? How much frosting covers the top of a round cake? How many tiles are needed to cover a circular table? Regardless of whether we need to calculate the circumference or area of the circle, we can figure it out from just the circle's radius. For a circle with radius r, the circumference is 2 pi r, while the area is pi r squared. Let's practice using these formulas. Suppose the wheel has a radius of 12 centimeters. To find its circumference, we can use the formula c equals 2 pi r and substitute 12 in place of r. 2 times 12 equals 24. So the circumference is 24 pi centimeters. This means the wheel rolls 24 pi centimeters, which is about 75 centimeters in one complete rotation. Suppose the cake also has a radius of 12 centimeters. To find its area, we can use the formula a equals pi r squared and substitute 12 in place of r. 12 squared is 144. So the area is 144 pi square centimeters. This means the frosting would need to cover an area of 144 pi square centimeters, which is about 450 square centimeters on the top of the cake. When solving a problem about circles, it is a good first step to decide whether the situation calls for calculating the circumference or the area of a circle. Thank you for watching video 4 of 4 for this unit on measuring circles.